Hey guys, uh, Rohan here once again, and today we are going to watch the video from Number File. Uh, it's named Super Permutations. Okay, let's see what it is, and we'll discuss it later. Okay, here we go. Not just regular permutations, super permutations can leap tall buildings in a single bound permutations. What okay. is a super permutation? First of all, let's talk about an ordinary permutation. A Fair permutation enough. is just like a shuffle. So imagine I had three cards, one, two, and three. How many ways can I shuffle those three cards? So let's do that. These are the permutations. Uh, one, two, three. And we okay, I'll stop one, it here. Three, at uh, 20 seconds. Okay, so he's talking about permutations. Uh, the permutation is basically the arrangement of things. Okay, the normal permutation at least. So if it, uh, he's giving an example of cards. So we have if, if you have like three cards. Okay, if, if you have like two cards, we can arrange it in a uh two ways okay uh, we can have the first card second card or you can have the second card here and first card here that is only the two ways if we have one card there is only one arrangement of cards so the permutation is one so the permutation simple permutation is at least the arrangement of the things okay we'll see it permutations uh, one two three and we could have one three two two one three two three one and we could have three one, two, okay, uh, three, 30 more seconds two, is stopping one. it. Uh, he has taken the example of a three cards. If you have three cards, the arrangement of the cards can be in the six different ways as shown in the image uh, by him. Like uh, first card, second card, third card, first card, third card, second card, and so on. So fair enough. That use the numbers one to three, uh, and that is uh, three factorial. Uh, just to remind people, three factorial means three times two times one. And that's because we've got three choices for the first one, two choices for the second one, and one choice for the last one. And you multiply those choices together, that's three factorial, that's six. There are six ways to do it. Now a super permutation, it's a string of numbers. Okay, we'll stop at one minute. Uh, so he is basically saying that uh, whatever the choices we have got for the arrangement of the cards, that is a permutation, we can decode it in the form of a factorial. A factorial by definition is a multiplication of all the numbers till it base number. For example, 5 factorial is 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. Therefore, the 3 factorial would be 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1, which is 6. And we just saw the arrangement of the 3 cards can be done in a 6 different ways. So, the permutations can have the formula of a factorial. So if you want to find the permutation of three cards, we will we can show it it is six different ways or we can simply say it is three factorial. Okay? Yeah, we go one second. Contains all the permutations. So the super permutation of one, two, and three would have all the permutations of one, two, and three contained within it. So we could just string these together. No, that's yeah, simple. Right. One, two, three, one, three, two. 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So that's a super permutation. Uh, it has length 18. You don't seem that impressed with that super permutation. It doesn't deserve its name as being super. Okay, we can do better. What is the smallest string of numbers that we can write that contains all the permutations? Well, how about this one? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. All right, this has length 9, but it is a super permutation, and it's the shortest super permutation using 1, 2, 3. Let's check. But so, it has. So, so you've used overlaps, basically? I have used overlaps. Let's, let's check. 1, 2, 3, that's in there. Uh, 1, 3, 2, I've got it here. 2, 1, 3, where is it? There it is. 2, 3, 1, right there oh. in the beginning. 3, 1, 2, I bet that is here. And 3, 2, 1 is right at the end. Yes, it contains all the permutations, but it is the shortest string that contains all the permutations. Let's take an example of a three-digit number. The permutations, the arrangements are 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. This is a six possible arrangement. So if we just take all the six uh, possibilities and we uh, keep it beside one against the other, we have 18-digit number. And we, by looking at that, we have all the permutation of a three-digit number. We have one through, because we have basically taken the number from that individual pieces and glued it together. So the largest number have all the six different possibilities. But is that a way to shorten it, but still have the six different possibilities? Yes, that's how the number file showed. We can 
write a, a number as 1 2 3 1 2 1 and 3 2 1 and it will contain all the numbers arrangements of numbers uh, in only nine digits so that is the super permutations till next time take care okay bye